What's up, everyone? Corey Parks here with HydroHelp 911. For some reason, audio didn't work on this recording, so I'm having to re-record it. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all and talk today a little bit about what helical piers are. Um, this, uh, what you see laying in front of me, is a seven-foot helical pier. Uh, it is basically a two and seven-eighths inch galvanized steel rod um, that has a, um, a what they call a helix on the end, and you'll see me show you this in a minute. Um, the purpose of these are to repair residential houses that are settling uneven or sinking um, or falling down uh, in certain areas. Here in the video, you can see me touching the helix. Um, basically, this big rod gets drove under your house using a machine, and it just kind of acts as like an auger until we hit load-bearing soil. That load-bearing soil can be bedrock or it can be uh, just hard packed soil. We have some measurement devices on the, uh, on the machine that tells us when, when we've hit that uh, point. Um, and basically we just keep driving these in seven foot sections all the way down until we get the correct amount of capacity needed to support your house or to lift your house, depending on what, uh, what the case is. Um, a lot of times this is engineered, structural engineers tell us what that capacity is and how far down we gotta go. Um, but basically, this is this is the general general concept of the helical pier. Uh, you'll see me show you the connector point that connects to the next rod. Like I said, each rod seven foot. Um, this is called the cross link connection. There's two bolts that goes through them holes, um, and we just basically connect them and keep driving until we hit where we need to hit. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, helical piers, structural repair, let us know. 704-813-9554. Check us out online at hydrohelp911.com. Look us up on Facebook and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Y'all have a good day.